Hello folks and welcome back to Base Ring. Here we are with the Kubota. We've got the Devourer. We changed the colour on that and we did borrow this trailer, the TARDIS XL. Money status because we've got some equipment here. We've got our wind rower, our tether and our small tray. We don't need that anymore so we sell that. So what I've got done is repaired it and painted them. Now we're just going to sell them to get some money because we are desperate for cash. I want to have a bit of a just some poor money, but just a couple of hundred grand off. If we need to do stuff, then what? We would do that. But yeah, so we're approaching the end of March. We need to get the last bit of seed and which is the potatoes. Just overtake that car on the junction, as you do. So yeah. We need to do that, see the potatoes, and also we need to start the rolling. That is a crucial thing, and we're going to be working into the night here with that. But I need to get these trees removed because I may do sugar beet in April, but that's not a guarantee. However, one thing we need to do here is get rid of these trees. And we're already stuck. There we go. Just that one tree alone. 66,000 leaves. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a good day for us. And we can try to remove the stubs now with this. So, I'll worry about going around the stump grinder later on. Access to this, so if we do the small trees. Oh, that first tree was at 69,000 acres, so it was at 6,900 acres. My bet. So, yeah, that was a, I was going to say that was a big tree. Yeah, now we're getting to the usual trees here, so I think if we detach the trailer and then we just go and simply.
go, we are just setting the first load of wood chips just to, yeah, reinforce that bank balance of ours. So we should hit around the grand. We've got 100,000 in the reserve, so yeah, about 870 grand we're going to have. And yeah, wood chipping out was a pain. It was, it so many issues with the trees. Or 866, oh, that's fine by us. And that's all we needed for really. you, so you know what? We'll park this up here. And yeah, so now let's go to the potatoes. So, we've got one here, accidentally started doing some potatoes whilst I set things up. So, in theory, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set one worker off. Hopefully they go left. And then also, I'm going to set this worker off. So, there we go. I think they already hit the edges. Yeah, they're already hitting the edges, so... I was thinking, you know what? We'll sell off on the angle. Aim for the pylons. Yeah, ain't going to be perfect coverage, but you know what? That I can live with, and also, what's I remember? Quick, do a little quick save because I know how the game loves to crash on me, even if it's on like No Man's Land. Just a couple of mods doing some stuff on it, so you can't do soybeans yet. Actually, let's, let's go get the old Deutz far here, and let's go and lease another potato planter so. We want potato technology. Nope, not that one. Actually, we've got the mine now, so we can get away with this. So, Deutz for green. Oh, do you not mean to purchase that? Well, we'll sell that afterwards. So, and what I'm going to do is save on travel on that. There we go. Oh, we had a mass here. I don't know if I knew that. Oh, what's this? Loads of machine materials and sugar beets nicely packed into pallets to sell. Alternatively, they could be conveyed. Well, I basically can put them on conveyor belts. So, hmm. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be using to process all this. But yeah, so we need to buy some potatoes. So, let's go over here. One, two, three. There we go. So yeah, now we've got two workers on the way. This should be a real quick work for us. Main require adjusting things here and there. There we go, get the potatoes. Because yeah, I can see workers stopping. Because of him pylons, even though they can just turn around. Okay, even if they turn around, it's still fine. Because already we have a look on the map. So yeah, workers are going to go diagonally. And what we can do is like, go around the headlands and that. And just do things for them. Just cover up. Especially now where we're losing the light. I think we really should also get the roller underway as well. Okay, if we need to work into the night, not so be it. I do not mind working into the night. As so we've got the second pallet loaded. There we go. And now just last pallet, so... Actually... We get this... Over to the main farm area. And actually start getting this rolled in. Again, we get the worker start rolled in. At the end of the day, whatever they do is less work for us, so... So yeah, worker on this end is going to be a lot more effective compared to the worker here. But yeah, we could have saw that worker off, like say, towards the middle. But unfortunately, stumps struggle to remove trees and that. Uh, yeah, a hedgerow over there. I don't know why I can't cut it down. Like being with a chainsaw now, there's no option to remove it. So 
So you actually wish about that, but anyway, so get the old Massey here, or a new Massey, and yeah, we'll get rolling on the way. So in the next episode, what I'm going to be doing is pretty much the planting of stuff. Get the soybeans in again, that's where I've got the money now. So we can hire workers, get these equipment. Sketchy. Really, anything like doing up and down this way would be fine for us. So, what I do is put a worker on the far end. If it goes right, then you know what? That's fine. I'm not too concerned. At the end of the day, it saves us work. And really, that's what we should be doing. That's the thing I need to learn. That's that's ideas. Yes, yeah, just with the map and that. And workers in general with Farm Sims 22 being very problematic. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. So, roll in. No, roll. There's rolling to be done, see? Oh, why aren't you rolled in? Because we can seriously see here, and he's rolled in. Doesn't he roll in? And just why? Why oh why oh why? There, alright, okay, fine workers on the way on that. So yeah, that worker's fine. Guessing it's this worker. Oh no. Both workers are still on the way. And already they're making a significant dent into the fields for us, so. Thank you, workers. Well, uh, yeah, so... This is going to be a long process, and, yeah, as I said, what we do is we do, like, the headlands. And I don't want going round, round in circles, get the edges done. It saves the workers having to do it. It saves how to reposition them, so... Well, I don't mind doing that, so... There we go, let's get unfolded. Like this 6 meter planter is a game changer for us. And pretty realistically, that's as big as you can get with potato planters. Just because of the nature involved. Of course, what we do also need to do is... So you see pH is perfect, as we know. Nitrogen, bad. So he needs about 90 to 100 kilograms per hectare. So yeah, what we can do is, once they start growing, get the fertilizer spread around. I'm pretty sure we've still got one. If not, we can always just lease one out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got one anyway, so... Anyways, the workers continue. We'll continue on what we're doing with this, and I'll see you folks in a few moments once we're done here.
are working into the night. We are just about to start the roll in. However, I'm going to take a little quite bit of a diversion here. So, first of all, the workers helped us a lot. Our remnant score powers have gone up from 57 to 59. Like this one here, 40. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but. Overall, it's looking well, and I can't really tell the difference. Guessing it's from like this field over here, perhaps. Don't. Ah, wait a minute. Yes, yeah, so I was like, wonder why we had a very much score on this field here, 58, whilst we don't own the fields. Ah, do we own. Ah, I didn't know that we own that bit of forestry over there. May have to look into that, because that could be a potential benefit for us. Also, this area down here, the slide lots receivable for agricultural. May plant trees down there. You know, plant some trees down, may do that. But anyways, we've done the potato fields and yeah, the two workers and plus me. Sometimes it's three workers when I've gone and start doing some of the rolling. Done a bit of back and forth work between the rolling and all that. But overall, we got some leftover potatoes because we bought some extra potatoes for the um, planters and that. And we removed them. And we've got them in here. So until we got 10,800 euros of potatoes. And I thought, you know what? Let's kick start some of this production here. So we can. Let's make our first load of paprika chips. Or knockoff Pringles flavored paprikas. Well, no, it's not Pringles flavored paprika, it's paprika flavored Pringles. And also, I may put some in here as well. So, I may do like 50 50 in that. So, if we go into our productions tab, things are getting sent over. Good. Now, if we have a look here got all the water, got some onions in and some peppers and some tomatoes and cucumber. Ah, so it's things like this, like stuffed baked potatoes. We will need milk, cheese and corn. And same there for potato soup. We need corn as well. We can get fried potatoes, we've got the onions. All we need is the vegetable fat, that could be from any of the other crops, so like oils or soybeans, but so yeah, what I'm on about is Ah oh, dang it, we need vegetable fat though. You can get pre potatoes and then get a bit of starch. Yeah, okay, we get starch. And then we can make french fries. And also fried potatoes. That's a one to one. What's the price difference between the fried potatoes and that? How much are they potentially netting us? So, four grando. And if we do it now. Well, yeah, okay, why not? Let's do fried potatoes. So, where's the. That's the door there. So, yeah. We'll do a bit of a mixture. We've got water now, there already. So, I'm assuming it's going into that little hopper there at the back. So. So, let's put half in here, first of all. Stop at 5,400. Uh, close enough. Now, how do we get this in here? This is a large tractor as well. So, I'm thinking reverse. Oh, no, no, no. That's getting it out. Getting it in. Cars just go into there, I think. Just a bit. I didn't expect to look at this production right now, but. Obviously we know cream potatoes are the best. Okay, there's nothing 
that's popping up there. Perhaps it's just not properly aligned. There we go. We're loading our potatoes in. So if we go into that production, we want premium potatoes bagged. So yeah, that's that, that's that. We'll have that underway as well. Because the pig food we can sell. But also, we get premium potatoes regardless, so I think that's what we want, I think. So yeah, we want that to be distribution. Sea potatoes distributed, preen potatoes distributed, pig food. Well, so that's distribution. We'll keep that for now, and then I sure what heck it. We we'll set that store. So, and this is a very fast production as well. So, so that that'll be consumed by the end of the night. Compared to this, which is a bit of a slower production. I should not see now. We're going to get about 4,000 euros of potatoes. So, within, of course, by the time this is time tomorrow, all that will be consumed. And we also want the paprika chips as well. So, overall, that's all running. So, we'll see how that transpires. So,. Yeah, that was a little bit of a diversion now. So let's go and return this tray. We just quickly borrowed it. I'm not going to have anything bagged up yet, but if we go to our mod section over here, we go down. And we go to Sea Potato Buildings Pack. There's, there's these bags. Do we need those? I don't know. Pallets? Why? I'm not sure. Or do we need that to bag them? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. We've already got our first bag of premium potatoes. That needs to be... Wow, that was quick. Now we need to transport that, so... That need to go into hmm. one can we even get the lever in there so turn off the indicators. I think I've like got a grill on this, but yeah, we're gonna get in there. There's no way we need a skid steer looter. Oh you know what I'm gonna leave that actually, I'll leave that, see how it goes. If we get more than you know, get some that red from some force to point. But yeah, if we have a look here, incoming products, premium potatoes. Oh no, dang it. I meant to be distribution. We need to set this up properly, so premium potatoes we want to be distributed, yes. Also, we want. Oh, we can't get fried potatoes. We can't. Oh, dang it. I thought that was starch. Wait a minute. What are we getting as a product again? Yeah, it is starch, not. Oh. Dang it. Can we buy the vegetable fat? Only what heck it. Buy some soybeans. Or oil, let's do that. So, sunflower, canoe oil, or soybeans. So, let's go to the store a sec. Pallets. All you can get the pallets of soybeans. Anything else? I 
got potato boxes and that. Mm. So yeah, heck it, let's do that. So let's buy. Two pounds of soybeans. Let's get the lever a sec and then transfer that over. As we are losing light, we should be doing this now. We should be doing the rolled in, but heck yeah. There we go. Got the soybeans. Yes, technically cheap, but doing the experiment is just purely for experimental purposes, so that's how I'm just finding that. So. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Soybeans are going in. Also, is there any more land that we can snatch up? If we have a look here. So, field map. Definitely 142. That'd be a good field for us. 142. Okay, that's a big section over there. So we get 140, 139. And 138, it's already got barley in, but we can always remove that crop, so... Because yeah, I think when we do the soybeans here, we're going to have enough soybeans, so... We can buy just an entire farm area. That's got... Oats, but... You know what, heck, let's buy some more land, so... Aussie yieldage ain't gonna be the best. I'm really gonna don't work on the hilly areas. If I can avoid it, I will. Avoid it like the plague. But yeah, we're getting to some like more rougher patches over here, so well, yeah, I think we'll stick with these two for now. And if we want to buy more land, we can do it next year, so. Whilst all that is churning away. Yeah, we're getting the cream tape over, so. Are you not being used? Because I did send them to distribution, right? Uh, yeah. Should look at the instruction manual for this, so <laughs> but I'd say to not. So, okay, prune potatoes has to distribute in, all good. No, we don't that. But yeah, the potatoes that's been done, that's already been sorted, so. And if we have a look here, we've already got pig food. Ah, dang it. Or this is already done automatically. So yeah, we want the big bagged sea potatoes. Do we? Oh yeah, we're getting sea, so we need to bag them, so... So, printing. Alright, so that's, that's that production done, pretty much. Just got a little time here, so. That's all that done. And so, yeah, we can turn that production off. Fair enough. And not getting anything over here. No, not quite yet. But yeah, so anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today. It is pitch black and I do not really like this. So we will be working in the night. We'll be doing the rolling off camera just because it's night time and yeah, working in the night and all that stuff. Nope, not you. What? Oh, heck it, that was get going. And yeah, we've got some of our equipment in the workshop over here. Kindly been offered a discounted service, so they'll get repaired at a discounted price, so. But yeah. 
anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But first, just do hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's going to be far more Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.